Welcome to Cat the Minion YouTube channel. My name is Teresa, but you can call me Cat. This is going to be a June reading for Taurus, and I'm using my nine card Lenormand grid, which is actually a ten card spread because I have a space over here for an oracle card to give an overview of what the reading is about. But instead of using cards, I've got my charms from my bucket of charms here. Um, so we'll get into that in a second. So this is the Gilded Reverie Lenormand. These are the charms that I made. They're only paper right now. I'm gonna try to get um, like some kind of epoxy resin situation going um, so I can sell the uh, like bas relief versions of these at some point. Um, I'm, I'm getting there, I'm real busy though. Um, so, for Taurian energy in June, there's th this thing, just hit that. I'm just learning about this, so I don't know that much about it yet. Um, but I've been learning about Lilith and Chiron. I'll hit the camera, my thing's all screwed up now. So, Lilith is in Taurus until July and it, this thing called Black Moon Lilith it has to do with the moons f it's called Apogee it's the furthest point away from the Earth on the uh, elliptical orbit it has to do with sensuality and money and sexual things but it's the information I was looking at said that there's some kind of a like it wants people to slow down a little bit until the 19th of July apparently those are my notes I don't I'm not really sure what that means but I'll I'll get into it eventually I'm just kind of working on that as a new addition to my information so the moon is in Taurus from the 6th to the 8th Uranus is in Taurus, which rules Aquarius, and Aquarius has Saturn retrograde in it right now, so they're, they're sort of an Earth link up between those two things, Earth energy. Taurus. I think that's it. Venus, which rules Taurus, is in Gemini on the 1st, in Cancer on the 2nd to the 26th, and then in Leo for the last few days of the month. So there's, there's, a, there's a lot of shifting energy in what's going on with Taurus, um, but we'll see how that plays out in the reading. I get this like sort of hurry up and wait and kind of like horny, but there's nobody available yet. or just sort of longing for somebody in particular, pining for the fjords. I still feel like that's not focused all the way. Okay. Let's see what these charms are. So these are all upright and then I have this one inverted. So look at the inverted one first, came out face down. So this is the magician hat. So we have Magician Energy, which is Mercurial. Mercury is going to be retrograde in Pisces for the first 22 days of the month. We also have the Summer Solstice coming through in June. I'm going to put this upside down so I know it's upside down. I was like trying to pull a rabbit out of this hat. Which is weird because I was thinking about rabbits and rabbit warrens right before I started this. So upright charms, I have the podium. And something to say. You have the mirror here, a little bit of mirror mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all. Ooh, it's giving me Snow White vibes too, right? Trying to pull a poison apple out of that hat maybe. Um, the old-timey chariot, 
horse and buggy. Can't really see those from there, but this is a Nautilus. It's a cephalopod. Right, it's head. It means head foot. And there's a, a little bit of an idea of the root and the crown chakra trying to connect to each other. We have a, a Fibonacci sequence here, the golden spiral. Um, typically, I think there's going to be eight limbs. It gives an idea of infinity or strength, perhaps. But I'm getting more infinity, like infinite expansion with the spiral. Also, the rhino. This is giving me more extinction vibes right now. Like the last little bit of something is under protection. Maybe like endangered species, but we'll see. Kind of hot in those rhinos. What does that mean though? Magic in that old silk hat they found. This goes with that. Practicing what you're going to say in the mirror. Interesting. Unable to... Having a hard time manifesting a connection. Feeling like the connection is dying off. But trying, it's like I'm trying to get my my head in the game. It's like I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about walking towards you. Because my mind is on my feet. But I'm having a hard time manifesting the actual movement. And I'm afraid our connection is dying out. But I've been practicing what I'm going to say to you in the mirror. This is looking like a romantic connection to me. Which would kind of make sense about the like horny and um, what's that called? Sexual frustration. There we go. <clears throat> Bridges, inverted, 38. Major Arcana energy. The Empress, Justice, and or Strength. That infinity number again. The 8 loop. Here's another infinity, but it's broken. 7, the Snake with the Queen of Wands. Crazy 8s here. Infinite layers. So we have Birches... Birch Broom, Birch Whip, 11, so we have a universal timing that it could be the Twin Flame number. If you're not Twin Flame, don't worry about that because it could just be the masculine and the feminine energy trying to come to balance. So we have Jack of Wands, which could be the Knight or the Page, but I'm feeling it's the Knight. Knight and Queen. Oh, this is, this is a spiral. It's a spiral. Spiral. Spiral staircase. Is that a band? What do they sing? The spiral staircase. They sing something. I need to look that up. Hello, computer. Oh, that's right. I, put the... I turned the monitor off because it's hot in here. The spiral staircase. Give me the information. Band. I'll let you know what they sung in a second. More today than yesterday. Okay. This is important.
Yeah, the lyrics of this song. <clears throat> the lyrics of that song, The Spiral Staircase, More Today Than Yesterday. It's talking about wanting to kiss somebody and loving them more today than, than yesterday. It's a very pining, longing song, but also somewhat lustful. And that flows in with what's going on in this reading. So The Spiral Staircase, More Today Than Yesterday. It's a song, look it up. So we have the birds. These are the gossipy birds in this deck. Seven of Pentacles. Upright this time, so there's some kind of patience involved. Patience, my pretty. Number 12. So 44 inverted, a magnifying glass right in the middle. Bringing in major arcana energy. So we have another eight here, or we have the emperor twice, or four times justice or strength, or four completions of the emperor. Four times 11. So you're really multiplying on this. So we have the tree, number five, the seven of cups. Be seven and five is the 12. So the tree of life, these birch pieces are pulled off of, and the birdhouse hanging in, and the snake sitting in. We have the flowers. Oh, that's sweet. Number nine with the Queen of Swords. The truth is out there, Scully. I want to believe. Okay. So we have the book inverted. Ten of Pentacles. Twenty-six. And it's aimed at these flowers. It's like, I don't know if this is going to work. I don't have any information on this. There's a song called The Book of Love that's an oldie as well. <clears throat> the key, the solution. Something's being unlocked here. Eight of Pentacles work. Travails. 33, so we have 44 and 33. It's like 11, and then we have the Emperor and the Empress number, the masculine and the feminine wanting to be together. but. There's something, it's like not only is this book inverted, but the magnifying glass to read the fine print is off as well. Again, this is this idea of like, I feel like it's going extinct. I feel like I'm, like this information feels like it's being lost. But this key here with 33, let's look at the key. Not the cheese, the keys. Pretty tree and a turd. Discoveries and solutions. You will find me in synchronicities, signs, and fate. So this very could well easily be um, a soulmate connection and or directly twin flame. can secure as well as unlock. As so I have the key, but now I can't find the book, right? I can't find my diary. I can prove to you that I was going to come the whole time if I can find my diary, but I can't. I've got the key to the diary, but now I can't find it. There's, um, it's like I can't quite get the information I need. And I'm not saying that me about the reading, I'm saying this about the cards. The flowers are like a gift. The flowers. Flowers. Picking flowers. Get them in there a little bit more. I still feel like that's out of focus no matter what I do. I think it's just because the cards are so detailed. <clears throat> Beauty and a happy face. Gift. Recovery and well-being. Hmm. Hmm. 
Oh, this is like a secret code. The information was thought to be lost, but I'm bringing in a secret code. And the reason there's a gap between them is like, I have to trust that you know what the secret code is. Right, the secret code is hidden underneath a bunch of fluffy nonsense. Have the patience and the intuition, Queen of Swords, to creatively see what the message is. Because the public message up here is separation and someone else is in the feminine spot in the relationship. Right. The Queen of Wands is often thought of as the karmic. The masculine energy in here is at the Knight of Wands energy. But wants to be the Emperor. And it's like... The masculine has to be at the knight energy because the knight is the one who's riding the horse. But it's also like a lack of, of self-confidence because he's got to keep practicing what he's going to say in the mirror. There's like, I've got to, I've got to do the protocol, right? I have to memorize the code so that when I get there, uh, you know, they'll, I'll have the right password to get into the gate. Right, the drawbridge. Let's get these birches again. This is indicating an argument between the masculine and the karmic. And it's almost like no matter what's being presented, no matter what's, you know, being posted on the social media, it's like this, the feminine is waiting. Like trying to wait it out. because there's an inevitable mismatch between an energy that's trying to strike and another energy that's ready to, to strike when it feels backed into a corner. Like, you don't own me. A lot of stress. Right? There might not be outright conflict, but there's something about the karmic relationship that's stressing the masculine out in a ways that the details of which are not being articulated in a public sphere. Like, I'm trying to get my my backup plan in order before I roll, before I arrive with the bouquet of flowers for this Queen of Swords over here. Almost done here. Just gonna get into the tree a little bit more. Now look at this. Health of body, mind, and soul. Five is a shift or a pivot. Seven of Cups is, a lot of people say it's options, right? Oh, I can choose this one or I can choose this one down here. Um, but for me, it's like distractions, um, you know, avoidance by doing other things or other people. I see these two sevens here really trying to break out into temperance balance. But what we've got going on here is a shift or a pivot towards uh, paying off karmic debt and healing 
um, healing mentally, physically, emotionally. Healing physically would lead to a manifestation, but there's a difficulty manifestation. There's a delay. There's work that has to be involved. You actually have to get on the horse and go around the mountain because the bridge is out to bring this gift and why and like why the horse with the cart in particular because I've got to bring something that's code for like I have to carry an olive branch and the olive branch is so goddamn big I needed a whole truck for it I needed a wagon but that is the key like the mess it's like what I bring doesn't have to it's not like it has to be a diamond ring or a piano or like I'm gonna give the queen a new car so that she'll like no I'm not playing around it's it's not it doesn't have to be a physical thing it's the manifestation of the communication the I'm reaching out to you and giving you solid solid proof right like I gotta hold it in like like Arr, I can grab onto it. Something you can sink your teeth into that has heft to it. In order to unlock the relationship. There's, um, it's like pressure. Because the situation is calling the universal timing is calling for the masculine and the feminine to come together in order to flip the script on what's been happening to pin down this timeline the shift is going to have to happen right so the magician's hat inverted because we're in retrograde season but the only way to pull the rabbit out of the hat is to hold the hat this way to manifest out of the air something that seems like the book had been shut on it but that is still an energetic connection so that's what's coming in for taurus now with this lilith thing right sexual sensuality um m possibly money with a slowdown it's like patience seven of pentacles because it has to happen sort of on the down low. There's a seven, seven, seven. That's, that's tilt, that's luck, that's Jupiter energy, which is in Pisces, the subconscious, right? What are you suppressing? I'm suppressing this connection because I've been over here with this, but this, this time I'm going to be like m luck is on my side. I have the right key at the right time to reconnect to the feminine. Right? She hasn't changed the lock yet. The key will still fit if you bring it earnestly let's put it that way but this this Lilith energy is it's like there's physical passion as a backdrop it's a very hedonistic energy but I think that's why this is coming through for Taurus so it might not just be for Taurians it might actually be uh, a twin flame situation in particular and in that way it would end up being a June energy report uh, but this is Taurus's reading if you're not a twin flame don't don't fret um, but there is a karmic resolution and uh, an olive branch of some sort between masculine and feminine energies for whatever level whatever flavor of that pattern you're operating in all right so let me get this wrapped up because the battery's gonna die so i'm done reading anyway <clears throat> all right if you want to get a personal reading like this one or one of the other ones that i offer 
the 16 grade Lenormand or the other readings. Um, nope, wrong way. Okay. Uh, the readings that I offer and the prices are listed in the description box underneath the video. They're also on my website. If you tool around in there, you'll be able to find it. Uh, it's the same list with pictures. And if you check out my readings for sale playlist here in the YouTube, um, you can see the samples of the readings that I have for sale. Uh, if you'd like to help keep my channel chunking along, you can donate, energy exchange, hit that tip jar, PayPal, Cash App, or Venmo. Um, if you'd like to get stuff for throwing money at me, I've got coloring books, dark... Um, I've got merch, prints, actual art items over here. There's a coupon code for Etsy, 3 star 17. Uh, three items or more, 17% off. That includes my chapbook packs, which are kind of like little mini readings in a, in a little mystery envelope. There's writing and pictures and sometimes numbers if you can read my handwriting. It's just a, a neat little way to uh, to get a, a little... Uh, a little uh, trail of breadcrumbs from the universe. So let's put it that way. So those are on Etsy. Um, I got social media. I got my email. Everything here is listed that it, that's on this page is in through the link tree. So that's linktr.ee slash catthaminion. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. Check out my playlists tab, my discussion tab, and stay groovy. And we'll see you later. Bye.